Hey everybody, welcome back to Podcastage. My name is Bandrew and I'm back with a shelfie for you guys. Basically, I'm walking you through all the gear that's behind me. So as I said, I am walking you through all the gear behind me because I have received countless requests for it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and start from the beginning. We have a Bad Axe. We have a Flurry and BM 100FX. We have a BM700 or a uh, Euchre Mic 1. I can never remember what they are. Um, we have a bunch of adapters, pretty much every sound card adapter, an iRig mic cast, terrible sounding mic. Um, we have all these cables and adapters because you need easy access to that kind of stuff. So I just keep it in the open, even though it looks messy. Uh, it's just nice to be able to come up and grab what I need. Uh, here is a logo for Geeks Rising, which is my website, created by one of the podcasters on my website. Then we have the Neewer NW1500, BM8000, a uh, Euchre Mic 1 or something, I don't know. This is a prize piece. This is the X-Files film on VHS. I don't know why I have that, but I do, because X-Files is awesome. Okay, then we have the Samson Go Mic, the Zoom H1, the Zoom H2N, the BM800, a multimeter. We have a light meter that I don't know how to use. We have the blue snowball ice, uh, NW800, blue yeti. We have the regular blue snowball. We have a Canon HF R600. Uh, I got that for YouTube. I didn't like how tight the lens was and I just don't use it that much. We have the SF920, the 922B, the Pile PD mic something. We have the Zoom IQ6, which is a lightning port iPhone microphone. Um, I don't know if I talked about this already. We have a Canon lens, Samsung lens, Samsung lens, another Canon lens. Um, we have the Samsung NX1000 with a 16 millimeter lens. Uh, I got this when I was first starting out on YouTube because it was on sale. I used it for a little bit on YouTube, but the autofocus was terrible, so it was really unusable, especially because it was impossible to manual focus because there was just, uh, there's no flip out screen, so it's very difficult to use. Okay, continuing, Samson Meteor, Pile Mic something, uh, SF930, I think? The M Audio something. Okay, we have one lav mic, another lav mic. Uh, we have the Pile PD Mic 58. Pile PD Mic 57, the Shure SM57, uh, the Pile PD Mic 1, Shure SM58, Shure SM48 beneath that. We have the Rode Video Go Mic, the AT2020, we have the CAD U37, we have the V-Moda Lav Mic or something, I don't know what it's called. Then we have the Samson Media right there, the AT2100 I think. Um, I think that's what that one is. The Afterglow AG9s, which I don't use the microphone that came with it because it's not that good. I use the V Moda if I use the headset. Beneath that, we have an Audio Technica wireless system. I don't use this anymore because it is an actual wall plug. If it was a completely fully wireless system, I would absolutely use it, but this is just a pain in the butt. The only time I would really use it would be out and about, and since it needs an AC outlet, it's useless to me. Okay, so on this first shelf, we just have a bunch of boxes for stuff that's on the top. On the next shelf over, we have an OCD person's nightmare right here. This is just a bunch of accessories, uh, USB cables, uh, interfaces, that kind of stuff. It's horrible, I know. Then up here behind this goofy hat, um, we have my most used cables just so they have easy access to them. For my guitar amp, I have a Vox Valve Tronics guitar amp because it is an amp modeler and it's only about 30 watts. I work in an apartment. I cannot afford to have my orange rocker verb here because it would destroy the building. So that's what that is. Now let's go ahead and look at the guitars. Okay, the first guitar is the 72 Fender Telecaster Deluxe Reissue uh, Maple Fretboard. Uh, I replaced the Jumbo Humbuckers with EMGs because when I was in a band I was sponsored by EMG, so I took advantage of that. Okay, the next guitar is actually in an Epiphone case, but it is not an Epiphone. It is a Gibson Les Paul Studio. Funnily enough, when I bought this, I thought it was black. Turns out it's red. This is my second Gibson Les Paul Studio. The first one I had for about 10 years. I was playing a show, somebody spit water on the ground, and I slipped, 
and snapped the headstock off of the guitar, which is irreparable. So I just smashed it at the show. This was a replacement for that. I got it like four years ago, something like that. Next, we have this guy. This is the Taylor Big Baby. Uh, it's not the highest end acoustic, but it gets the job done. I've had it for about 15 years. When I first got it, I dropped electronics in it. So this is technically an acoustic electric, but I just don't use the electric uh, portion of this because I like the sound of it mic'd much better. Okay, lastly, we have this guy. This is a sub-series Sterling bass by Music Man. Uh, it's nothing special. I just purchased it so I could do rough tracks, rough uh, demos. I actually started uh, playing music on the, the bass, the electric bass, and the upright bass. So this is just what I have just for to record demos, that kind of stuff. Gets the job done, nothing amazing. All right, guys, well, I guess that will do it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it fun, interesting, or helpful, thumbs up. Thought it sucked, thumbs down. If you want more, subscribe by clicking the logo in the corner, and I will see y'all later. Bye.